Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Ninth Cup, where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose. This is going to be a general reading for the Midhaven and the sign of Aries. If your Midhaven is an Aries, this reading is for you. Again, it's general, just take what resonates and leave the rest. For those of you who are current subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for supporting me as I grow the channel and sharing your energy with me. Excuse me. For those of you who are new, Welcome. My name is Karen Michelle Yearwood. I'm an intuitive guidance counselor and I help people like yourself along the Ascension journey. So Midhaven and Aries, and for those of you who are new to astrology and really learning more about your natal charts, it's indicated by the letters MC up at the top of your chart between the ninth and 10th houses. This is the energy around your professional life, your career, your authority, how you even deal with other authority figures. Okay. And it's long term. So, um, but it's not comprehensive in terms of giving you a complete picture of your professional life. Also check out your Mars placement, your Venus placement, and even your second house placement, because that's going to give you maybe a bigger, more complete picture of, um, what you would do well professionally. Okay. Cause it determines what you value, what you would work hard for, what motivates you. All right. But we're just sticking to the mid Haven placement for this reading, which is Aries. So you all are an initiator. You all like to take charge. You like to kind of be at the forefront of things. You like to kind of be a discoverer, the first to do things, maybe the first to do something, the last to, sorry, first to do something, first to finish. You know, it's like quick, you know, you may be a little bit competitive, um, even in situations that aren't really competitive, but you kind of even have that for yourself. You like to be better than how you've performed in the past. So this could be some energies that are really around um, your career. So let's see what we have for you. We have overthinking, get out of your head and into your heart. Interesting. What else? Self-care, it's time to take a break. Working a little hard here, Aries. Cool out. <laughs> grounding refresh and reset wow all three of these cards are about taking a break all right so really you know kind of overdoing it a little bit um what do we have in <coughs> excuse me um in aries um i don't think there's any transits affecting aries right now but your ruling planet mars is in scorpio conjunct the sun and mercury um as of the date i'm recording this it's squaring saturn so you know even if you're seeing this after you know that transit at a way later date you know this could still be affecting you maybe somehow in your own natal chart. You know, you could have aspects, you know, of your Mars to your Saturn, that kind of thing. Um, some of you could have Mars and Aries in your natal chart. Like I do have Mars and Aries. Um, so your Mars would be up near your midhaven is what I'm saying. So again, there just could be like a, a deep desire to kind of like keep going. It, there's like this undercurrent of aggression here. Um, now it could be due to different reasons, right? This could just be, you know, feeling like you're spinning your wheels or this could just be, you know, really positive, meaning like you have a lot of people to support. Um, a lot of people are relying on you, you know, there's high expectations, but Source really still wants you to kind of slow down and take care of yourself, ground, take deep breaths, take time out, um, take self-care days, you know, mental health days as you need it because you're no real, you're no good to anyone or to yourself if you're burnt out, right? We know this Aries. So let's see what your three card spread has to share with us. What's your aspiration? What's in the way and how to overcome it? So I'm using the light series tarot. We're going to get some energies on what's in the way. Your aspiration, how to overcome. So this first column is aspiration. We have, ooh, two can I pulled two. Guess they're meant to come out. Um, eight of cups, nine of wands. This is definitely like still kind of in alignment with this, like being overworked energy and the two, uh, page of pentacles, excuse me, page of pentacles. So with that eight of cups, I think many of you are maybe getting ready to walk away from something, an opportunity or a current position, um, because with that nine of wands, that's the battle weary card, right? That's kind of coming down the home stretch, being at the finish line and also being kind of tired of doing what it is you're doing. You're kind of been at it for quite some time and you're ready, really ready for a new offer. Page of Pentacles. You're ready for a new um, source of income. You're ready for a new way of bringing in stability for yourself. I think many of you have maybe worked a little too hard um, or been expected to work too hard from others. Um, if that doesn't resonate, I think this is just kind of getting a cycle, getting ready to close out, right? So for those of you who are, you know, you have been working really quickly, you've kind of been um, uh, kind of stretched thin, but it's not necessarily a negative thing. I think this is just, um, yeah, it's something kind of like about to come to culmination. Something is about to like 
come out of basically what I'm trying to say is like you're about to be rewarded something is about to be like birthed out of like what you've been working hard for. I know that's not the meaning of these cards traditionally, but what I'm channeling is that for those of you who don't resonate with the first message um, about walking away from something and looking for something new, if you're like kind of determined and you're confident with where you are, I think what's gonna happen is you're really gonna see like some fruits of your labor. You're gonna see new opportunities sprout up. You're gonna see um, maybe some recognition come in from people. And that's beautiful. So eights are here. The eight of cups in this overthinking card is an eight. So 88 could be significant for some of you. There's still a need for self-care though. There's still a need to really focus on yourself and maybe that eight of cups will be, you know, once your deeds are done, you're like, okay, I get to like take a break or take a breather here. All right, um, what is in the way? The Hierophant, Taurian energy. The Emperor, that's your energy, Aries energy. Two major arcanas here. And the Ace of Wands, still your energy, fire energy. So the, uh, the Hierophant, Taurian energy, the Emperor, and the Ace of Wands. This is coming out uh, in what's in the way. Interesting. So you could have some competition. Um, with this Hierophant, there could be um, like a position that you want or a bid, like some business you want from another organization. Um, this could be like B2B type sales, right? Like you could be trying to sell a product to another organization, getting a contract that will go over a long period of time. But, you know, it's challenging, right? So it's coming out what's in the way, which is basically just like a ch current challenges, not to say you won't overcome it. Um, the emperor energy here is, this is your energy. This is what you're in. You're in a, um, a position where you're maybe training others, leading others, you're a manager, um, even higher up than that maybe, like CEO, like more um, director level. And the ace of wands, because a lot's riding on, you know, this offer, this sell, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish here. Because it's an ace, you know it's going to be a new beginning. You know it's going to open up more doors for business, for your employees, for you as a leader. Um, for those of you who um, resonated with the first scenario here, with kind of coming to the end here, being kind of like pooped out and over with what you're doing, I think, you know, what's in the way is like, you don't really know where you're going to go from here. You know, you're ready to walk away. You're ready to kind of like stop working so hard, but it's like, how, how can I honor my values and my um, my beliefs and kind of be in my king and like, well, be above the king energy because emperor is above all the kings and still maybe be compensated the same way I was, you know, um, still have a new beginning, but be treated like an emperor. You know, will I have to step down? Will I have to come down to king level? There is that, you know, dilemma there. So there's kind of two scenarios going on here. Interesting reading Aries. What's in um, the position of how to overcome, which is basically advice from spirit. Knight of Swords. Seven of Swords. The Sun. Beautiful. Leo energy. So move on. Move on ahead. Because <laughs> both of these cards, the Knight of Swords and the uh, Seven of Swords. Look, this person is hooded and there's something on their backs and there are birds around. Okay, so it's kind of like spread your wings and fly here um, with the things with the bow and arrow on the back and the things on the other person's back here. What is that? Oh, look, feathers in the in the backpack. I think that's symbolic for really taking your jewels with you and, um, you know, not really allowing others to benefit from your hard work. Um, really owning like this could be your own intellectual property even um, you know if you've come up with things or if you've laid out new programs and things within a company or you know kind of putting your name on things like stamping your name on things and really taking ownership um, sun card is leo energy but it's also the happiest card in the deck i think many of you are going to be again going back to what i said here for the first um first column for one of those scenarios was like the recognition you know if you're feeling like you you're confident with where you are you are working really hard you do need to take a break but you're gonna get like you know some sunshine you'll be able to like sit and put your face in the sun and be able to rest and know that you know you have succeeded for those of you who are walking away i think this is source confirming that you are going to get the compensation you are going to get to be considered an emperor right even if you're a woman this is not gender specific you are going to be able to maintain that level of authority that you already have um knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and you'll be able to build very um carefully and um confidently like it's like you'll be able to put things in place for yourself and maybe for others that are going to secure um, your abundance and your um, 
not just your abundance, but like your financial rewards, I guess you, for yourself and for others too. So this is not like a, a selfish thing. I know Aries can, you know, it's mistaken for that. It's given that title a lot of the times because it's the first house. It's all about the I, but I'm getting that this will also benefit others as well. Um, but you do need to take care of yourself first. So that is where you need to be selfish is really filling up your cup, um, taking care of yourself, taking a breath, a breather, taking a breath when you need. Um, and that's how you're going to get some clarity here because you could be a little bit in brain fog too. Okay. So there's two kind of scenarios going on here with this being overworked. Some of you are done, donezo, ready to move on. Others of you know, you've been working really hard, um, and you're okay with that, but you need to really focus a little bit more on how you can be more healthy and productive with how you use your time. All right. Cause there could be some people that are even leeching from you with that seven of swords energy. That's a deceptive energy. So that could be people maybe like asking more of you than they should be, um, or relying on you a little bit too much. Cause they, you know, they know you're going to show up there know you're going to be successful in whatever it is you do. So they're kind of taking advantage of that. And that's why I was channeling that weird message about like, Make sure you get credit for what you work hard on because there could be some people that are trying to either steal your ideas or get credit for the work that you're doing, that kind of a thing. Um, so yeah, just be mindful of that as well. All right, so let's get your uh, Life Purpose Oracles, Aries. energy healing your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose i actually think this is maybe what some of you need is energy healing so seek this out from someone else some of you could need you know the the reiki or just even a massage right that can balance out your energy a lot of the times as well just a normal like pot stone or deep tissue massage um can help you you know with that self-care and Take a time out, energy, family, or spending time with your family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. Yeah, so some of you could be um, in need of just quality family time because you haven't been able to do that, being so busy. And then music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. Yeah, so put on the music, by normal beats, right? The hurts. Bottom up deck is study, research, reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. Yeah. So, but this could be, you know, self-study too. Kind of studying yourself, getting to know yourself better as you kind of like, you know, go down this journey in Aries. If you're moving really quickly, don't let those milestones pass you by. Don't, you know, you know, stop and smell the roses and don't give yourself the credit you need to. Okay. Don't just look for it from others or accept it from others. Give yourself the round of applause as well. Cause that could be, um, that could be something that's going on here too, is that you're not even seeing how far you've come and how like far you're going to go because it's like, you're just continuing to go. You know, that is Aries energy, your fire sign ruled by Mars. So it's understandable, but this is just a little reminder from a source to really take care of you. Um, so you can be that strong authority figure and be well balanced and, you know, continue to thrive. All right. That's what I have here. No extendeds for the mid havens, but if you like a personal reading, my website's below. I do include tarot spreads in my, um, life path astrology readings. So I can do your natal chart, solar return, progress chart. I also include an RS scan to look at your chakras to see what needs healing, if anything. Um, and yeah, so I'll leave it here. Um, if something here resonates even just a little bit like the video, if it's your kind of thing, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Okay. Be sure to try. Bye.